Icy roads created real problems for drivers this morning. WBZ's Anna Myler shows us the trouble spots. The speed restrictions on the Mass Pike have been lifted and traffic is moving along smoothly, but the icy roads caused a lot of crashes overnight and now drivers are dealing with chunks of snow and ice flying off the tops of cars and trucks. Freezing rain overnight caused slippery conditions on the roads. 12 cars slid right off Route 2 in Lexington. And further west in Brimfield, ice is believed to be the cause of a huge chain reaction crash. One SUV was launched on top of a car sandwiched between two tractor trailers. State police say multiple people were taken to the hospital and 15 cars were towed away. I'm just slippery, icy. Benjamin Melendez was on the roads overnight driving a tractor trailer from Springfield to Boston. I see a lot of trucks slipped over, a lot of accidents. Through the night and the early morning, a 40 mile per hour speed restriction was in place on the Mass Pike, and the Natick Service Plaza was filled with tractor trailers that had pulled off the highway. It seems like a lot of truck drivers out here tonight is taking a rest. Most you've ever seen here? Yeah, definitely, yes. As the sun came up and the ice began to melt, drivers faced a whole new obstacle. Lots of ice and chunks of snow fly, like flying off of people's cars, especially like the tall trucks where like they can't reach it. Some people just didn't try and clean it off at all, and that's just super dangerous. Natalie Lynch says she's doing her best to keep her distance from other cars, hoping to avoid flying chunks of ice. And she's also preparing to take it slow on her way home from work when the temperatures drop and the roads refreeze. <laughs> I think it's going to get really icy again and because it's nice that the sun's out, but when the sun's out, it melts and then it comes back. So it's New England. So what are you going to do? So this is a good reminder to clean off the roof of your car or your truck and to leave plenty of space between you and the car in front of you. Reporting in Newton, Anna Myler, WBZ News.